G'day guys, I uh, just uh, thought I'd do a short video on my 2.4 gig uh, transverter system and it's based around an SG Labs uh, transverter um, similar to the 1296 one that I've done in a, uh, in a previous video. These come uh, in 1296 and 2.4 gig versions. And I decided to put that in a box with uh, appropriate PA to um, see, uh, just get a little bit more output power. Um, also added a preamp and a filter. Um, 2.4 gigahertz has got a lot of um, uh, interference on it, uh, Wi-Fi filter really helps with that. So uh, yeah, so basically what I've done here is on, on the front panel, I've just got a, a just a power, normal power switch, um, a DC amp meter, a visual indication of when I'm transmitting, uh, especially on single sideband, this is a very good uh, indication of uh, uh, what's happening. And I've also got a fan and this fan's actually blowing air uh, into uh, the case. I've got two uh, extraction fans at the back, uh, runs pretty hot. So anyway, we'll open it up and uh, I'll show you what's inside. Right, so I've opened it up and inside here is uh, the uh, 13 centimeter uh, transverter box. You can see there that I've got uh, uh, everything labelled so it really helps uh, to, to find out uh, where, th where things need to go and for the connections when I'm uh, just looking at it quickly. You can see the uh, out of the uh, RXTX port uh, which has been reconfigured now, it's just the transmit port. Uh, that goes off uh, via that blue coax to the input of my uh, uh, PA. Uh, this is a Spectrian uh, PA, these are available on eBay at uh, fairly uh, cheap cost. It will do at 2.0. 3 gigahertz without modification they will do I think uh, 65 or 70 watts uh, at 24 volts and they will do 25 or 30 watts slightly less at 12 volts uh, at 2.4 gigahertz the gain is not quite as high so uh, with this particular module I've actually done a little bit of modification to the uh, snow flaking along the strip lines here and uh, I've managed to obtain, I, I run this whole system off 12 volts so I actually have managed to get uh, 25 watts out at 12 volts and I think it's about 60 watts at 24 volts at 2.4 gigs so I'm rather happy about that um, but I, I run everything off 12 volts because I didn't think it was worth the extra 3 or so dB uh, to, uh, to mess around with 24 volts in the field. Out of the, the PA goes into um, a 12 volt uh, coaxial relay, again uh, another eBay special. Uh, these things are really good. Good thing about them is, is that they're 12 volts, they're, uh, they're not a 24 volt uh, relay. Uh, these things will, um, will switch uh, DC to 18 gigs as well at um, uh, quite a high power. I think it was something like 100 watts or something at 2.4 gigs. It was, wasn't coming anywhere near uh, what this was rated at. So you can see quite the large heat sink. It's, it's quite a massive heat sink that I've got in here. And uh, it does get fairly warm running at 24 volts, but uh, at 12, it's pretty cool, especially with the fans. So uh, then of course out of the coax relay comes back on the uh, normally closed contact uh, through a, a mini, uh, mini circuits ZX60-272LN-S plus preamp. Uh, then I've got that going into this uh, uh, bandpass filter. Now this bandpass filter was tuned and provided to me by VK3PP, uh, Matt. And uh, some of the specs that he's got on here at 2.2420 uh, 2 megahertz, it is 20 dB down. Uh, I think this is tuned for 2403. Uh, 2403 megahertz and it's one and a half dB down at 2403 megahertz so at 2420 that's the uh, the upper end of the channel one uh, Wi-Fi channel so 20 dB down is pretty good and uh, I've done tests with this with and without the filter and it makes a really big difference uh, to the noise that this thing picks up and the interference so out of the filter uh, back into the receiver of the um, the SG Labs transverter. If it uh, runs just to the back, it's just a 435 meg IF. Um, 435 megs equals 2403 megahertz. Um, there are other IFs that you can uh, you can switch in the transverter, so you can uh, you can pick that. Uh, I've got a mini mini kits uh, a VK5 mini kits um, sequencer. This does all the switching of the relay and of the uh, preamp. 
uh, switch is the PTT of the uh, the transverter um, switch is the the PA now there's an accessory connector on the back that accessory connector connects to my FT817 or any AC radio and uh, that's also got a transmit inhibit uh, line on it which uh, stops RF from flowing uh, until uh, everything's switched so that way it's all safe I've got a 10 megahertz uh, input on the back with a switch. Uh, these SG Labs transverters have a 10 meg in. Uh, they can they have a um, an internal uh, reference uh, oscillator, but you can switch it to an external one. So uh, that's uh, handy for GPS locking. Uh, I've had uh, a few contacts with this now. I do use a uh, a large uh, Anderson uh, plug, and I'm starting to use these as standard uh, for all my uh, all my connections now. Um, out of the back too, I've also got another power line which uh, which runs to my FT817 power pole uh, connector on the back, the 3D power pole connectors. So uh, that makes a connection really easy. So uh, it's it's fused in the uh, in the transverter. So I just plug that in and and stick my 817 on top of the transverter. So uh, yeah, I've also got a, a little um, five volt. Um, regulator board so this one's uh, stepping down from 12 volts to 5 volts and that's uh, purely to run uh, my preamp uh, my preamp runs at 5 volts and uh, not 12 so uh, the uh, the good thing about the mini kits uh, sequencer is that you can use uh, a variety of voltages you can it's not just switching 12 volts you can switch 5 12 24 volts uh, to suit your relays uh, or whatever you're switching or your preamp yeah, uh, so guys, that's just my uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, transverter system. Um, fairly simple. Um, it was uh, good fun putting together. I uh, learned quite a bit. Um, encourage everyone to uh, delve into microwaves, see what's involved. Um, and uh, we'd like to see uh, many more people on the bands, uh, especially the higher bands, the ones that are more at risk of being uh, taken away from us. So uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is the antenna that I'm using, and this is just a standard grid pack uh, antenna. This one's from TP-Link, and it's got uh, 24 uh, dB of gain, uh, dBi of gain. And what I do is I place this on, uh, on the back of a, uh, a tripod, and uh, then the, the coax connection just connects straight into the back of the transverter, so it's uh, not a very long distance. Uh, uh, so coax loss is uh, at a minim, uh, minimum. But yeah, thanks for uh, for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave your comments on any feedback. Maybe uh, leave comments on what transverter systems you use, uh, any success that you've had, and uh, leave a like if you like this uh, video. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time.